The Dallas ISD superintendent is weighing in on the vote to do away with the agency that transports thousands of students to and from Dallas schools every day. Brittany Jeffers joins us live with the message he has for students and families. Brittany. Russ and Karen, that meeting started about 15 minutes ago, still going on right now. But as we reported throughout our morning show, uh, DCS transport about 70,000 students every single day. So this transition will impact them. And that's something that the superintendent said he wanted to discuss today. And he says that they have several big decisions that they need to consider. Early in 2018, districts will have to decide whether they're going to outsource this very important uh, service that we all depend on, whether they're going to develop their own or maybe a hybrid. So this decision to dissolve the agency comes after receiving 56% of the vote last night. And while the bus service remains the same, the management of the agency will change before it's ultimately dissolved. So this means that each school district, as you heard, will have to manage their own bus service or hire a private company for kids to be picked up. A committee, we are told, will form to help with the transition. Uh, that committee will be formed um, in the near future. And in the meantime, students will have the same bus service for the remainder of the school year. We are told this transition won't be felt until 2018. And DCS has been quiet, but tweeted last night that through DCS tax, DCS provides school districts with the best deals on bus service and saves them money from using a private vendor. I did reach out to DCS this morning to get their response after this vote, but we've yet to hear back from them. Reporting live here in Dallas, I'm Brittany Jeffers, CBS 11 News.